Now we'll talk about the org structure overview. The topics we're going to discuss in this video, they are structure of the warehouse, interim storage area, that's it. So let's discuss about the structure of the warehouse. This is a, this is a, this is something a warehouse structure will look like. So basically, um, on the top you have a warehouse number, which will link further to the store location that we discussed before. So on the top we have a warehouse number. Under a warehouse number we have different storage types. We'll talk about these storage types in the next video later on. So we have different storage types, and under each storage type we have a we have storage section we can have one storage section and we can have more than one and we can in parallel we also have a uh, thing called picking area so at the same level as storage location we have a uh, we have another structure called picking area which is optional so we'll talk about this detail later on and under a storage section you have a storage bin and under storage bin you have a quant which we'll see later on so the storage bin level is basically a master data this is not a customizing so that keep please keep in mind that storage bin level is a master data but not a customizing however anything that you can see in the above screen which is like warehouse storage type storage section they are all a part of customizing that we'll see in the later videos and as we know from the previous video that uh, the WM will be activated as soon as you link a warehouse number to a storage section. So if this, if this is linked, the warehouse function will be activated. If it's not linked, then this is a normal uh, inventory management system, which is like in this case, this is storage location 0001. Before we move ahead, I just want to give an overview about the interim storage area. What is what does it mean? What is what is the concept of interim storage area? As the name is saying, interim storage area means that uh, in real time, what happens is, uh, for example, when you create a MyGo transaction, and in MM, so as soon as you complete MyGo, system will will start the WM activities. Okay, and the first part like creating transfer orders and all that, but it will not immediately put the stuff into the the, the storage section or the wherever they're supposed to go in the bin area. But first they will be stored in an interim storage area or like a temporary, you can think like a temporary storage area. And from there, they will be moved to their final destination. So this temporary storage area is known as interim storage area. And this is basically linked to both goods shipped and also the good issue area. And this is basically uh, we using a different storage type, which is known as known as interim storage type. So in this section, you can see uh, the goods shipped area storage type is 902. So 902 is an interim storage type where the immediately after receiving the goods, say after MyGo, they will be stored somewhere temporary. And from there, they will move to their final destination. Same goes for goods issue area. If you're issuing the goods, so system will be moved to a, some temporary area, for example, a storage type 916, and then it will be moved to the final destination or the goods, the goods issue process will happen. So every goods movement in WM and IM is processed using the interim storage area. For example, a goods ship for a purchase order that is posted First in MyGo, in this case, the goods are then brought into the warehouse through an interim storage area, the goods shipped area. We will talk about detailed customizing in the later videos. Let's customize our own org structure for SAP warehouse management. So, in the starting the next videos, uh, we're going to to customize the org structure. But before we start learning WM, let's customize our own org structure in SAP RDS system. We will also create both MM and WM org units. This way you will keep your data separate from other SAP users who are sharing your same server. And basically the reason for me to create the MM 
uh, structure as well is because um, if you use a standard structure for example thousand one thousand um, plant and you create your own org structure in WM but if someone plays with that with the MM uh, org structure ch change some customizing setting then you will face some unknown error with unknown errors so that's why I will try to keep everything separate this is something like we're going to customizing uh, in the first starting from the next videos so first we have a on the top we have a company code company code is linked to a client obviously and then under a company code we have purchasing org in mm under purchasing org we can have different plants under plant we have a storage location which is now up to here this is the mm area underneath we have wm area which is under a under a store location we can link a warehouse or warehouse number and under warehouse we have different storage types and under storage type we have different storage section and under storage section we have different bins that we see in the next videos so that's all for this video so recap now we learned about the structure of the warehouse how it look like and what is the concept of interim storage area so that's all about this video and from the next video we'll start some customizing stuff thank you very much